Hey guys, what's happening? So, just picked this up over at uh, Micro Center, and it's a ATX case. It's a thermal take 300 TG, and I was actually looking for a case that was sort of uh, a little bit more discreet. Uh, one of the things I noticed is all of the cases now are like all blinged out with RGB lights and stuff, and I didn't really want to have all those extra lights. So, um, pretty cool case so far, you know. Things have changed a lot, but, you know, like when I was, power supply used to be on the top. They've, they've been doing this for a while, put it in the bottom, but, <laughs> yeah, no more CD-ROMs, those are gone, floppy drives, but uh, pretty cool case. That's a Asus uh, Z97 Sabertooth motherboard, but yeah, I still got to move my processor over, but my uh, HP uh, Pro Desk finally uh, started dying, the power supply died, but, um, so yeah, that's a proprietary 6-pin power supply, but pretty cool case. Yeah, this thing just pops off, the front pops off, pretty basic. You can actually have uh, multiple fans here. Uh, I think it was like two 200mm fans right here for the slots here, here. Uh, this is 120mm, or you can do three of these in the front. Uh, you can even do this right here, you could either put hard drives here, these are all the spots for hard drives, 2.5, 2.5. Um, or you can also put a cooling here, like a radiator, if you want liquid cooling. Or on the top there, 120 millimeter fan in the back. That's what I came with stock. I put that one in. And I'm just running a basic power, or 700 watt power supply. So I'm going to move my Core i7 over here, my 32 gig of uh, crucial RAM. But yeah, I have to uh, finally upgrade because I don't want to put any more money in that HP with that weird proprietary power supply very annoying so I'm gonna go back to more like a standard type setup here pretty cool all metal front and a uh, glass side panel here so that's cool so I'm gonna have some light in here but it's not gonna be like my I have a Asus GTX 660 uh, Super and there's a few lights on that thing but it's not gonna be you know like I said the, my one of my main issues with uh, you know I was K shopping is that all these all these new cases now, like half the cases in the store had like the RGB light in the front. I don't want a lot of light, man. I'm assuming you could probably turn the light off, but it's still, you know, I don't need a light. I kind of wanted something a little bit more, you know, like I said, I'm not gaming. I'm just basically like doing uh, <coughs> video editing and really uh, 3D modeling. So, you know, and internet browsing. So, that's about it. So I got some, uh, like an M2 drive to, I'm actually going to be going from an SSD 2.5 inch drive and I'll do another review after this, uh, and then I got one of those um, M2 adapters. Yeah, because it does, there is no M2 um, on the motherboard for this this motherboard, but it's all right, guys. Cool. Um, that's it. So I mean, basic. I mean, not really a review, but just to kind of show you what's inside of it. So if you saw this online or you saw it in the store, this is what it looks like. You have USB basic case, pretty much, but. Yeah, lots of room for expansion and, and cooling, so if I ever want to go liquid cooling, so. Alright guys, cool.